So it's an extremely exciting program. It's the largest in our company's history. And we feel now that we've got a good handle of the geological understanding, but also um, you know, zeroing in the high grade gold as well. Hello and welcome to Assay TV. Uh, today we're talking to Shane Sakura, who's the Managing Director of ASX listed Explorer Rumble Resources. Uh, Shane, good to see you uh, here today. Yeah, thanks Leo. I appreciate you taking the time to hear the, the Rumble story and the update. Um, it's been fantastic to, uh, to come along. Fantastic. Um, the transformational moment uh, in Rumble's recent history, I think, was um, the arrival uh, three years ago of Brett Keeler. Uh, as your technical director, Brett, obviously uh, twice named Amex uh, Prospector of the Year. Uh, tell us a little bit about how the strategy has developed since uh, Brett's arrival. Well, uh, Brett's uh, background, as you said, has been quite a reviewed exploration geologist uh, for IGO and, and Resolute. And his unique skill set is truly um, investigational exploration, uh, early stage all the way through to discovery. So we wanted to use his skill set uh, and give us the best chance of making uh, multiple discoveries. So we developed a pipeline of project strategy where we have uh, a series of projects that we option up. Uh, we normally option up over three or four years uh, with a balloon payment at the back end. But in that first year, we aim to uh, drill test targets that are generated. So fast forward three years ahead, uh, we've tested quite a few projects along the journey. And now we're sort of zeroing on five projects that are advanced to a point where we feel they're on the, on the precipice of discovery. Mm. And tell us a little bit about those projects you've zeroed in on. Uh, the Western Queen Gold Project, a uh, big focus for you at the moment. Yeah, well, it's a really exciting project. Uh, historically, um, produced 190,000 ounces at 8.9 grams open pit, which is a, a very um, high grade open pit resource. They then looked to uh, underground, which was going 10 grams. This was circa 20 years ago when the gold price was $300 an ounce. Um, there was a, a pegmatite dike that cut off the underground and they managed to do a, a series of holes over the other side of the pegmatite dike and hit some really nice numbers, 6 metres of 36. But at that time, uh, they decided to, uh, to walk away and, and focus on other assets. And when we looked at the asset, we, we quickly found that the majority of the drilling was focused on the resource. So anything outside the resource, you know, a depth and a long strike hadn't been tested. So we put together a, uh, a two-stage uh, drill program, which uh, was, we was really successful in actually uh, defining the, the shoot at depth. We hit six metres at 36, 50 metres of long strike from the six at uh, 34. Um, we also hit a, a hole deeper in the, in the system, which is uh, 0.7 um, metres at 27 grams. But that's extended that shoot by 300 metres. And now it's just a, a systematic approach of um, slowly stepping down the, the shoot. Uh, but what it also showed in our first two stages was there's uh, chances of replicas along strike. We've got 5.5 kilometres of uh, this shear zone that's full of gold. And we've actually identified six other potential shoots, which could be uh, the replica of the Western Queen Central. Fantastic. So uh, how much drilling have you done so far? We've just started um, commencing. We're doing a, a 12,000 metre program, which is consisting of uh, two RC rigs and a diamond rig. Um, and what we'll be testing are these six uh, gold shoots and hopefully doing some resource definition um, uh, down plunge from the Western Queen Central, which we think is a really high chance now that we've zeroed in on the high grade gold. Mm. And the Western, uh, Western Queen Central, that's underneath the old pit. Is that's, that correct? That's correct. Yeah, the Western Queen Central was 190,000 ounces at 8.9 grams. Uh, we're looking to do some resource of definition um, under the current underground, and uh, that will be the, one of the, the key things we think. Uh, there's a currently uh, there was a, there's a project called uh, Penny West, uh, which was bought by Remilius, um, which was uh, ASX company SPX for 250 mil, and their their resource was 300,000 ounces at 30, circa 13 grams. We think that uh, Western Queen Central Underground could have the same uh, sort of grade and size. And we think there could be replicas along strike with the other shoots. So it's an extremely exciting program. It's the largest in our company's history. And we feel now that we've got a good handle of the geological understanding, but also um, you know, zeroing in the high grade gold as well. Uh, so you've also got the uh, Western Queen South uh, open pit there. Um, what, what, what are your plans for that? And, and how's the infrastructure in the area for developing a, a project? Well, the Western Queen South Open Pit currently has circa 83,000 ounces at three grams. 
uh, we believe that um, with this current gold price, uh, there's a chance to, to monetize that in an innovative fashion. So within the area, we're quite fortunate. There's three processing facilities in the area. The closest one is Dolgaranga, only 40 kilometers away. Um, they've recently um, been put into uh, administration, but uh, from the recent announcements, it looks like they're gonna be coming back on the boards in the next two months or so. So it's great for us having that flexibility to um, use partners to process the ore. We think the Western Queen South has a chance to be um, uh, joint venture with some groups to, to monetize that in the near term. That's something that will be part of the 12,000 metres. We'll be doing some definition drilling there to get that indicated and then we'll look at all the options available to us in the next uh, three to six months. And because it's a, a mining lease and the actual gold had been through the Dalgaringa plant in the past, there is an opportunity plus the other mills in the area as well. Fantastic. And, and how are you paying for all of this? How, how easy has it been to raise money for exploration in, at the moment? Well, I think um, obviously it's been an interesting time to start the year, uh, but there's been some pretty um, good explorers out there making discoveries. And I think there's some groups out there at the moment that are backing good exploration companies. We feel like we've got a great exploration strategy. We've got a fantastic exploration geologist that's been there and done that before. Uh, we managed to secure $6 million in our recent raise um, from, you know, some current shareholders, new institutions and um, new uh, shareholders. So it's been a fantastic time for us um, to you know, fill the coffers up to allow us to execute our strategy and attack um, the Western Queen. Fantastic. And are you finding institutions are now sort of waking up to your, uh, your, your projects and your discoveries? Yeah, I think as part of the journey uh, from where we started, we knew that when we started getting to a, a more advanced stage with our assets, our market cap um, increased. We're now circa 70 million. Um, in market cap, which is a great um, starting point for these resource funds. Yeah, and we've had quite a few calls over the last four or five weeks at some recent funds uh, enter into our shareholder base because they can see that um, the Western Queen in particular could be something pretty, uh, pretty special in the near term, let alone the other assets we have in our portfolio as well. Mm. Well, let's go on to those. I mean, you're working on a couple of uh, JVs as well. Um, tell us about your, your, your other projects. That you're on. Yeah, what's great about where we're at is we've got obviously our focus um, and our dollars are going into the Western Queen, but we've also got a joint venture uh, with our Fraser Range assets with um, major IGO. Um, as you as you're probably well aware of, recently there's been the Mawson's discovery by Legend, which has you know got them to about circuit three to five hundred mil market cap. We actually have a project thirty kilometres along strike from Mawson's um, with IGO, which has generated uh, multiple conductors. There's a twelve kilometre copper zinc anomaly. We've also got gravity and magnetic features similar to what Mawson's was pre-discovery. And they're about to embark on a drill campaign out there to target those. And what's also exciting is we've got a project to the south in the Fraser Range, which has uh, called the Thunderstorm, which has 13 kilometers uh, in gold uh, in the Paleo Channel. And uh, to give you some background, when uh, Brett was involved in the discovery of Tropicana, that had a three kilometer signature. This has 13 kilometers. So we get a you know exciting multi-pronged approach in the Fraser Range with a, a group that has the funds to really make a discovery, and that's and that's happening as we speak. Uh, the other project we have as well is uh, the Lamel project. We think it's the best unreal target in the Patterson Province. Uh, when we pick this up, um, it's thought to have a kilometre deep cover, uh, but we did a airborne magnetic program which showed uh, that we felt that the cover was only 50 to 100 metres of cover. And we generated a, a target called the Lummel Dome. It's the same shape in third host rocks and structure as the Telfer. It's only 30 kilometers uh, to the west of the Telfer uh, Dome, which is a 32 million ounce. And uh, we did a joint venture with a company called AOC Mines, which has um, the, the founders of Joseph Arrighi from Sentiment, um, Aaron Collarin from Evolution, who have just um, raised $4 million today. And uh, their main focus is actually targeting that Patterson Province um, project, but the main thing would be that level dome. And yeah, that's a tier one scale type target. We expect them to be drilling the, the Maidam drill program there in September. Mm. And that project's never had a drill hole uh, historically at all. So what's exciting, you've got Western Queen, high grade gold, you've got nickel copper targets in the Fraser range, and you've got large scale gold uh, copper targets in the Patterson Province. Fantastic. Um, with so many projects on the go, um, there, there might be a concern that you guys are, are unable to particularly sort of focus on, on one project. Um, how important are the joint, joint venture partners in ensuring that you, you can have full coverage on all three projects? Yeah, I think um, what, we, what we thought uh, at uh, the Patterson Province and the Fraser Range is a bit of cover there. 
and it really needed some um, serious dollars spent on the ground. And we feel like we've got two groups that can really use their capabilities and technical um, now it's to uncover these discoveries while we focus on you know, a, a nearer surface target. And as we grow and get bigger, um, obviously those opportunities could stay within the stable, but we love that we've got IGO um, with their big geological team. And AISD too has actually put together a, a formidable um, exploration consulting team that have uh, uh, been there and done that and made discoveries as well. And so it just gives us the chance to do multiple things at one time. And uh, we, we focus our funds on the Western Queen. Hmm. A final question, uh, how has COVID-19 affected your operations? Well, we've been quite fortuitous that all our uh, products are in Western Australia. We're classed as an essential service. So even when uh, peak COVID um, hit, we were able to have access to our site. Um, we've had no issues at all in, at this point in time. And, you know, it's a great jurisdiction, as you can see, by um, you know, the low levels of infection. And um, I think the, the state itself is coming back to normal in the next sort of month. We're almost back to pre-COVID days. So we've got great um, service uh, teams there for your drilling and your geophysical targeting, geologists, and it's a well-endowed state. So um, we love it. Mm, fantastic. Well, you've got a lot of, uh, a lot of things uh, to look forward to uh, over the coming year, um, a lot of news flow coming through. So we look forward to uh, seeing your results uh, as they come out. Um, but best of luck uh, with campaigns and good to speak with you today. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it. And I uh, hope everyone enjoyed the presentation today. Fantastic.